Hey YouTube land, it's Mike and CC. I'm going to do a real quick bleed instruction tutorial on Shimano MT400 brakes. These are kind of bottom of the line brakes. They're, they're okay. Kind of a step below Diori. Um, this is kind of what the caliper looks like right there. You can see it's real basic. Anyway, this is going to be a quick tutorial. Uh, real easy to bleed these brakes. Just takes a few minutes and uh, the right equipment and it's um, super simple. Anyway, I've taken these brakes and put them on a new bike, took them off an existing bike and so ran new hydraulic uh, lines. So there is no fluid in this brake system at all, but it wouldn't really change if there were. So you can see there's the lever right there. Uh, first step, obviously, this is my homemade little paint stick uh, bleed block. You want to put that inside the caliper, take your brake pads out. You don't want to get any uh, mineral oil on the brake pads or they're completely ruined pretty much. This is a list of everything you'll need. This is just a real basic syringe. Uh, that did not come in this kit, the Shimano oil funnel stopper kit. We'll get into that in a sec. Uh, but that little tube did. So I just put the tube on, a, on a, just a basic syringe. You can see some fluid already in there. So you need a two and a half mil and a three mil hex wrench, safety glasses. This is the brake fluid I'm using, finish line mineral oil. Shimano uses mineral oil, doesn't use dot fluid uh, like SRAM brakes do. And then this is uh, kind of key, these oil funnel and the oil stopper, I would suggest if you don't have this and you have Shimano brakes, uh, I'd spend a few bucks and get this because it's really helpful. Anyway, we'll get into the setup. So step one, get your brake lever, levers uh, parallel to the ground so the air can move from the lowest part, uh, which is your caliper, and move up into the reservoir. Next step, you're going to take your 2.5 mil and loosen this um, nut stopper, whatever you want to call it, and take that out completely. Okay, next step. Uh, I'm going to fill my syringe a little more than that. Since this is a fresh bleed and there's no fluid in the caliper, there's no fluid in the lever, uh, the reservoir, and there's no fluid in the lines, I'm going to get probably more than I need. I'm not too worried about air bubbles at this point, but I'm going to fill my syringe with this uh, brake fluid. We'll move on to the next step. Okay, next step, come down to your brake caliper and you'll see that little rubber grommet. And then you see a little hex plug right there. That's where your three mil is going to go. Uh, take the grommet off. Pretty easy to take off. Don't lose it. Not the end of the world if you do. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your three mil here. And you're going to put your th three mil right in there like that. And you're going to crack it about a half turn, maybe three quarters of a turn. And that's it. Do not remove it. Just leave it. What that is, is basically the internal plug to uh, prevent flow out that little hole. So it's a stopper. So we're just going to turn it, break it loose like that. Maybe three quarters of a turn. That's all you need to do. That's it. Okay, move on to the next step. Okay, next step. See, I took my syringe and I attached it right there. Might take some finagling. You got to kind of really work it on. It's going to be kind of a tight seal. So right now that port is open. My syringe is connected. And uh, now we're going to show you where the little uh, stopper goes on the top of. We're going to move back up to the lever itself. Once we have the syringe in place, take your little cup here and wind it in. Don't, uh, they're plastic threads, so just be really careful. So just go until you kind of just get a, it just kind of stops on its own like that. So now we have our syringe plugged in. We have our overflow right there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start pushing the syringe real slowly. The fluid's going to flow up uh, into the caliper through the lines. And then I'm going to use all of that fluid since it's fresh and this is a fresh bleed. I'm not taking out old oil, 
So whatever comes up to the top is gonna to be clean and I can just put that back in the container and reuse it. So I'm gonna use this whole syringe and fill that up. And that, once that's full and that's all out of the syringe, I'll know that my whole system is bled. Okay, we'll come back in a second. Okay, so you can see now I've used the entire syringe. There's no air bubbles in the system. Uh, one thing to note, if there are air bubbles in the syringe, I wouldn't worry about it. Try to get them up to the top and into the fluid and push those uh, as early as possible, push those into the system so they come out the soonest on top. And they'll come out into this little funnel here. You can see the funnel has fluid and there's my excess right now. So I know that my caliper is filled with fluid and I know my lever is filled, or my uh, reservoir is filled with fluid. So on to the next step. Okay, our system's now filled up. So what we want to do is you take your three mil, again, put it in the port top and screw it down in. Tighten it pretty good, not over tight. So now it's closed. There's no air that can get in the system. So I'm gonna take the syringe off like that. You might see a little bit extra fluid right there. Not a big deal. Take a rag. Get some of that out and just replace with your little rubber stopper again. Okay, we know our whole system is filled with fluid. We're stuck with this little cup up here in the fluid. What I like to do is just kind of flick the brake lever a little bit just to make sure there's not any air bubbles. Just kind of just flicking it. Uh, Take a gentle mallet and just don't hit your reservoir too hard. Just make sure that there's no air left in it. Flick it a couple times, some more. And I think if there's any air bubble in there, it's gone now. So now we wanna take this little stopper because we gotta take this cup off. So we gotta put the stopper down inside the cup. That, make sure it's pressed down pretty firm and now we can take the funnel off and it won't allow any fluid to drip out. And it comes to move back a little, put it back in this little stand. I'll put it back in there and keep it for now. And the only thing left to do is put that little cap on top of your brake lever. Easy peasy, caps in. I just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol Get the oil off the brake lever. So now, it's pretty much done. Come in, take your bleed block out, put your pads back in, put your wheel in, and go try it out. Thanks for watching. See ya.